the way that this inversion Fairbank app is being implemented is my model, my deuce. My deuce is a slang or nickname used for the M2 machine gun. Okay, so uh, that's just the way my mind works. And the way I kind of like classify things, I have 81 different PD arrays. And there's several things that I can do with each one of those PD arrays. This is simply an inversion fair value gap. How I use that fair value gap is a model. And if we have a inefficiency, as outlined here, between the daily buy side and sell side efficiency high and low, we're bearish, we're looking for lower prices, we get this market structure in agreement, and then time of price, we're expecting an 8.30 delivery. We can get in here and use this and get ahead of, yes, get ahead of and enter before the news. It's like an x-ray view, tips your hand, or tips its hand to you and tells you this is what it's like to do. And you have the inefficiency here, it trades up into it, and at the delivery of 8.30 news, and then we see it run away on the employment numbers, trading down into the lower 25% quadrant between this low and this high, lower quarter or quadrant level is here, trades to here, and then trades to the 15, 175 level, and then ultimately we see it go higher from there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There's that gap. So that inversion fair value gap, within the context of expecting it to trade lower, best case scenario, you know, being the low of the daily buy side and sell side efficiency for NASDAQ, but needing it not to do that to find profitability, which is first partial would be here at consequent encroachment, and you let it run some more to get down to the lower quadrant. And they, that level, you want to take a partial, and then if you can get down to another discount array, which was in close proximity, which is only 10 handles away, which was that hourly buy side and balance sell side efficiencies low on this date and time on your hourly chart. So that's why it's annotated that way you can go back and look at when you're in charts. I want to take you back up again. Just know that this is what I'm showing you here. This range, how I'm employing the inversion fair value gap there here for my deuce. My deuce is a model that you can use a inversion fair value gap when you are expecting price to run right back down a inefficiency that was buy side and balance sell side and efficiency. This can be reversed when you have a sell side and balance buy side and efficiency and you're expecting price to go higher. The inversion fair value gap here would be something after a low and it would you know trade back down to it and then send it higher. So everything here is just completely reversed. And I know if you're brand new to my stuff. I'm sure I'm quite certain you're, you're probably confused right now and you just have to study it. But really what I'm saying here is this level here and this level here on the hourly chart is this, this one singular candle. And what I'm saying is on Thursday, I was anticipating the run down into at least the lower quadrant, the lower 25% between this and this, which are these levels here respectively. This candle's low, this candle's high. So we have one singular pass higher. We expect lower prices to be delivered the same way, just going back down to re-deliver over the inefficiency here. It was buy side delivery, but now it needs sell side delivery because it's inefficient in that regard because there's no other candle between this candle's low and that candle's high. Only one candle went higher. And that range defined by that candle here this low and that high needs to have efficient delivery that can only happen by having price go back down inside this entire range. Lower quadrant, halfway point. If you have a inversion fair value gap and you're bearish and you're expecting a news report and it's tipped its hand to you saying, okay, we are likely to break lower in market structure and lower time frames, we can anticipate this drop. And that's occurring in here drop and that's occurring in here drop and zoomed in inside that premium to discount that's the inversion fair value gap my deuce 
second opportunity to get into it again. It breaks aggressively. Inefficiency once more at 830 employment numbers runs aggressively. Partial here. Partial. Best case scenario would be if it would deliver to the low of the hourly. But I mentioned in real time, I said, take your profits. Don't be greedy. And then we've seen it uh, go a little bit lower than my objective on that particular day, but never got to the low of the daily buy sign of LSL sign efficiency being this level here. It never got to that level. So I'm certain it's a lot for you to digest, but every one of my PD arrays, you can apply it to specific elements of market structure and how you anticipate price delivering. And you can plug and play each one of these PD arrays with the expectation that the model will deliver under a specific premise. We're expecting this level here to this level here be delivered with downside delivery and our sell side delivery as price was going lower. It's not random. It's not going to some random level. It's going to very specific price levels. And if I'm going to use this inversion fair value gap, I can use it in the context of Modus. Modus is simply a model utilizing an inversion fair value gap. So that PD array, it's an advanced version or application of inversion fair value gap, but it takes you right back to the core context of where are you in price? What's it likely to go to next? And are you in a short-term premium or a short-term discount? If we're bearish and we're in premium, we can anticipate price reaching down into a discount, but not some random level, very specific levels. And it need not go to the best case scenario, which would be the low, which I still hold true that I, I suspect at some point, maybe next week, that we'll try to reach down here until I'm proven wrong. And I'm, I'm okay with being proven wrong. I'm, I'm going to be trading it. But the idea is I expect it to trade down here because the e mini S&P has already traded it to its respective buy side and balance sell side efficiency for its daily chart.